campaign, Northwestern came out passing as quarterback Mike Greenfield connected with short flips to his running backs. Greenfield's 12-yard completion to Mark Baumgartner put the Wildcats at the two-yard line, and from there, Stanley Davenport pushed it across. The extra point was missed, though, but Northwestern still led it 6 to nothing. Now, the Tigers sputtered the first time they had the ball, but on Mizzou's second offensive series, Johnny Red's hard running set the Tigers at the five. From there, the drive stalled, however, and on fourth and one, Marlon Adler was stopped for no gain. When the second quarter began, Northwestern proceeded to drive 85 yards. Davenport's 21-yard scamper was the big play, and whereas Missouri was unsuccessful on its fourth down conversion, the Wildcats' attempt on fourth and goal was high-stepped into the end zone by Davenport. The Tigers haven't had any luck on two-point conversions either. Mizzou was able to get a hand on Greenfield's throw, but the ball landed safely in the arms of Rich Borison. Northwestern 14, Missouri 0. Now the Wildcats increased their lead to 17 to nothing before the Tigers finally got their offense and gear late in the half. Adler completed this pass to Victor Moore. It's good for 19 yards and a personal foul for a late hit tacked on. 15 more yards. Adrian McBride managed to hold on to this pass for 20 more. And one play later, with only six seconds remaining on the clock, Adler scrambled in from five yards out. So Missouri went into the locker room with some momentum, but still down 17 to 7. Spot, tight rope down the sideline and wasn't stopped until he had gained 26 yards and put the Tigers back in business at midfield. On the very next play, tailback Darrell Wallace bounced to the outside and used his speed to take it 33 yards to the Northwestern 19. From the 11, Missouri had an apparent touchdown pass from Adler to McBride nullified by an ineligible man downfield. Tom Willihan's 35-yard field goal salvaged three points, and Mizzou had crawled back to within 17 to 10. A fired-up Tiger defense forced Northwestern to punt, and when Missouri got the ball back, the Tigers' momentum continued. Joe Close simply refused to go down on this play, dragging Northwestern defensive backs for 32 yards. Matty Henry then dashed 11 yards up the middle, and suddenly Missouri had overcome the 17-point deficit. After an exchange of punt, the Tigers came close to taking the lead. Bo Sherrill and Gary Justice almost tackled the Northwestern running back in the end zone for a safety, but Ron Burton just escaped. Northwestern managed to get some breathing room before punting, and then Adler's errant throw gave the Wildcats great field position, setting up a Northwestern field goal. The cruncher came on Northwestern's next possession. The Wildcats drove 83 yards in 15 plays, chewing up over six minutes in the process. Greenfield continued to frustrate the Tigers with his scrambles, and when he connected with Curtis Duncan on this four-yard turn-in, the Wildcats had a 10-point lead back. Instead of quitting, though, Mizzou hung in there. Adler connected for long passing strikes to McBride and Close. McBride and Close each finished with five receptions. Adrian gaining 102 yards, Joe 93. From the two, Adler tossed it to Eddie Essen. That completed the scoring, and as the Tigers came off the field, the scoreboard told the story. Northwestern 27, Missouri 23.